I'm going to show you four ways that you can turn MIDI into audio in Ableton. First method is freezing and flattening a track. Inside of Ableton, I've got a MIDI track. I can right click it and I can click freeze and flatten. Once it's done rendering, you're left with the audio, but you lose the original MIDI track. If you don't want to lose the original MIDI track, I suggest you duplicate using Command D the track and then you freeze and flatten the duplication so that you have both the MIDI and the audio. The second method is using resampling. So create an empty audio track that you want the audio to go into. Go ahead and select resampling in the external input selection. And then make sure that the record arm is activated on the track. Go ahead and press record and then press play. And it's going to record the audio from that track directly into the one below. But be aware that this method actually listens to the audio coming through the main input. So any audio that's playing back in your track is going to get recorded into the resampling. If you just want it to be this MIDI track, you can hit solo. So it's just playing that audio and then record, or you can use the third method, which I'll show you next. The third method also uses an audio track. So create an audio track below the MIDI track that you would like to record. Go ahead and select its input to be the MIDI track. In this case, mine's called MIDI track. Make sure the record arm is activated then put your playhead at the beginning of where you'd like to record from. Go ahead and press record and then press play. And now the audio is recording into that track. The fourth method is to actually render the MIDI to audio using Ableton's rendering engine. We can select the period of time that we would like to render, use Control Shift and R to open up the render or export window. We can select individual tracks. So we'll just say selected tracks only. So it's just going to export that track. And then we can go ahead and export it out onto our computer. Once it's been rendered, then we can pull it back into our project. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to keep learning, go ahead and watch this video next. And if you want to become part of the community, jump over onto Patreon and consider becoming a supporter. Thank you.